the Leo and Danny show. What are you, or Jack Denmo, we should probably clarify what that means. <laughs> Anytime anybody asks us uh, what the channel is and we're doing something nefarious, which is honestly fucking 95% of the time, um, we tell them that it's Jack Denmo's channel. Jack Denmo, I guess, has been really self-conscious ever since I put out that video. I've heard, and I don't want to say from who, uh -huh. but from a pretty high up source uh -huh. that he worshipped the channel. Really? He it seems like it. He comments on everything. He, I guess he worshipped the channel. And not like he... Because what's annoying about him is he comments on every YouTuber's channel all the time. Get clout. He's just yeah. comment whoring to get likes. Yeah, and that's why I was so pissed because I saw him comment whoring on That Was Epic. You're right. But I guess he's been putting out stories since I made that video defending his pickup line content. Saying basically, hey, I know this is douchey, repetitive, unoriginal any other synonym for shitty you can think of. Wow. But it gets views, so I'm going to keep doing it. Really? But isn't that like, what, what What would you compare that to? Like, I don't know. Is that like an actor, like it, it, being a talented actor and then just deciding that you're going to be in something like Friends just because it pays a lot of money and people watch it even though it's crap? Like, it's not a, it's not something you should do as an artist, you know, but I guess he doesn't consider, consider himself an artist, right? It's different in that the people who, who were working for Friends, not only were they making $5 million an episode, they were getting a Porsche every Christmas. Yeah. Brand new. It was different. 911 Turbo. Yeah. Jack Denmo was still developing his career as an entertainer, as right. am I. You need to have some sort of brand. Right. And there are brands that are built sturdy, like a Japanese car, hmm. and there are brands that are built flimsy. Like, like uh, uh, insert the name of a shitty car brand. What's a shitty flimsy shit, car? I, I guess like a, I don't know, Mini Cooper. A Mini Cooper or yeah. BMWs. They seem temperamental as fuck. They seem temperamental, yeah, but they are ridiculous for the first 100,000 miles. But then, yeah. It's uh, Jack Denmo's brand is a BMW with 500,000 miles. Gotcha. That's yeah. his brand. It's falling apart. I've seen a couple other YouTubers. Steven Shapiro, another guy I laid into in that video. He now gets around 50,000 views per video with 700,000 subs. Gotcha. Why? Because his brand was as flimsy as a BMW with 500,000 my. Yeah. That's an abbreviation for 500,000 miles. <laughs> and people stopped giving a fuck. They stopped tuning in. They stopped clicking on the thumbnails. Yeah, man. So what are you, what are you going to do to make sure that doesn't happen to, the, to your channel? Not sell out. You will be continue to be the Danny Mullen of old. Do what I think is funny, and I don't mean to offend anybody. What I think is funny is the best barometer of funny there probably is, because I think I'm watching, reading, listening to more comedy than even the most seasoned comics at the comedy store. I like it. In the Laugh Factory. So if I don't know what funny is, nobody does. And if I yeah. do what I think's funny, I'm going to be all right. There's going to be an audience for it. Nice. And then uh, will you continue to tell other people that you don't think they're funny? Will you continue to be the the judge of what's not funny out there? I don't want to be that guy. Hmm. I like entertainers who do stuff like that. Yeah, I think I think so, too. I, I look, I agree. Sometimes having like a little bit of, uh, you know, a, a, an argument with someone or, uh, you know, uh, some kind of intrusion of their you know their feelings that is great to watch it doesn't mean you always want to do it i feel like it's something that you do because it's entertaining i haven't given a shit about mma for quite some time mm -hmm. just because i don't think there's much star power left in the ufc the one fight i tuned into all of last year and was fucking laser focused mm -hmm. ears perked up cock with blood in it jesus looking up all the shit all the stats looking at all the pre-fight interviews your cock Col was hard a little bit Oh. Blood in it. I didn't specify that it was okay. hard. Take it easy, Lou. Colby Covington versus Marty Fake Newsman. Gotcha. Do you know Colby Covington? Yeah. Colby Covington, his shtick is he's a heel, like there used to be in professional wrestling. Right. And he becomes a heel by just being a huge Trump fanboy. Right. He wears a Make America Great Again hat. It's literally, it's, it's, it's literally out of the WWE handbook, which I think a, a lot, even Howard Stern was kind of WWE in many of his, of his antics, right? Absolutely. Howard Stern would tear people apart, just like Colby Covington's doing now. He's accusing Marty Us or Marty Fake Newsman, whose real name is Kamaro Usman. Mm -hmm. Kamaro Usman says he was born in Africa, Colby Covington saying he was actually born in some place in Texas, <laughs> which he probably stole from Donald Trump. That's 100% what Donald did to Barack, yes. Obama. 
Six Howard's nine. a great example, though. You yeah. listen to old calls from Howard. He's calling up other DJs and just screaming at them on the phone, threatening their life, <laughs> wishing cancer upon them. Jesus. With YouTube community standards now, it's a little harder to do that stuff. But when I see that kind of battle going on, I'm attracted to it. So, yeah. Yeah. Part of me wants to do it, but then part of me also wants just to keep my head down and focus on yeah. stuff like the fairy tale video we did. That was beautiful. Which is more insular. Right. 